baby Jesus. Damn. Damn. Uh. Yo, 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 we do this shit. I'm dabbing like I'm from Atlanta. Hey. Better ask Solid. Cam Newton. We dabbing over here too, yeah. First one, okay. Shout out to ATL. Hey. I'm dabbing like I'm from Atlanta. Hey. ATL. I dab like I play for the Panthers. Hey. Dabbing like I'm from Atlanta. Hey. Touchdown. Dab like I play for the Panthers. Hey. What's going on, everyone? It is Just the Case here, and we are in episode four of uh, this Panthers rebuild or reboot, as we decided to call it. Um, pretty excited about what's going on now. We're going to get into this game against the Arizona Cardinals, but before we get into this Arizona Cardinals game, I want to uh, point out the fact that look here, we got another Offensive Player of the Week. This time it's Christian McCaffrey. I told you guys he had a crazy game last week, man. 25 carries, 179 yards, two rushing touchdowns, two receiving t- uh, touchdowns, 10 catches, 127 yards. Christian McCaffrey was balling out, so I, I mean, he deserved that. Hey, if you're new to the channel and, uh, you know, you might like this video, don't forget to click that like at the end of the video. And um, if you want to, maybe subscribe. That's all up to you, but I would like for you to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. And you can catch all these types of videos, plus my other videos that's coming out with my other franchise that I'm doing as well um also you can catch my twitch at twitch.tv slash just in case 205 or you can just follow me on twitter at just in case underscore xbox all right and catch everything that's going on just a little bit ahead of time okay um let's see what are we going to get into first first I, we talked about the uh draft class and i think i decided to go to Madden draft class and i could do any edits post draft uh, that i want to do with names or anything anything like that um so we're going to stick with the madden draft class now but what i do want to focus on i do want to talk about is the re-signing players as you see here uh we got jerry mccoy trey boston as of right now that we can re-sign Daryl williams will be coming up here pretty soon um and i'm not interested in re-signing jerry mccoy i'm happy to have him for this one year deal but signing for a two-year 25 million dollar deal that's like 12.5 million dollars a year um at well, he's going to be 32 and 33. That's just not going to work for me. Trey Boston is interesting. Trey Boston has an interesting contract. He's only asking for three years and $16.5 million. And at that point in time, three years from now, he'll be 30 years old. So he probably won't be declining uh, as far as regression that much. So it's very interesting. I'm really interested in taking him at that deal. But we're just going to see what happens. All right. But you are here to watch the uh, Panthers play against the Cardinals. So we're going to get into that game. Um... I'm going to hand it off over to our announcer and uh, let's just see how this game goes. I did lower the um, I did lower the quarter length from 15 minutes to 10 minutes because I was getting way too many plays. Unlike last year. Last year I could do 15 minutes and it was still, the, um, I guess, a realistic type of uh, plays. But now um, it's a lot more, so I lowered it down to 10 minutes. Hopefully that gets us around 60, 65 plays a game. Thank you, just in case, and this one looks to be a good one as we have the Arizona Cardinals hosting the Carolina Panthers, and this looks to be a great one after Christian McCaffrey had a great game last week, and uh, we're looking for more of the same, but you also have Cam Newton and Kyler Murray. Everyone wants to see that first overall pick, Kyler Murray, but the Cardinals are now 0-2 starting off the season, but they are looking to get their first win in their second game here at home, and they're going to be taking on the Carolina Panthers and look at Patrick Peterson. He is ready to go. He is ready. But uh, this whole game is going to center around that Carolina Panthers defense. Can they contain Kyler Murray in the pocket? That is going to be the question that we're going to ask here today. And if they can do that, they can win this game. And there's Christian McCaffrey hyping up his defense to get ready for this game against the Arizona Cardinals. And we pick it up here in the first quarter, third down and eight. Kyler Murray dropped back, he's looking downfield, can't find a man, and he's running, and he does what he does best, and he gets the first down after breaking a couple of tackles. And you know what? Looks like they're going to have a little time, a little trouble, trying to stop Kyler Murray. Here later on in the drive, it's first and ten, and David Johnson gets up the field, and he gets a good yard, and the Cardinals would kick a field goal, a long field goal on this drive, and go up three to nothing. All right, later on, 
Panthers next possession, or first possession, that is. And Cam Newton's drops back. He looks downfield, has a man. It's Chris Hogan in the middle of the field, catches it and tackled down at the 46-yard line. Chris Hogan with the first down. You know, no DJ Moore, so someone else has to step up and make big plays. Now Cam Newton drops back, and he throws the ball to his tight end. Ian Thomas, the young man, catches the ball there on the left-hand side. Now you got the Panthers. They're steady driving, and this time they give it to Christian McCaffrey, and he gets up the field for about 10 or 11 yards there. Panthers looking to score now. First and 10 here. Cam Newton drops back. He throws the ball. It's intercepted. Intercepted on the play by Byron Murphy. He was trying to get the ball to his tight end. No, that's DeAndre Baker. Oh, uh, Buda Baker. <laughs> On the interception there. He's trying to get the ball to his tight end, uh, Greg Olson. And once again, Cam Newton starts off the game with an interception. This has come, become a uh, theme with him. Starting off the game really slow. Buda Baker undercuts the route, gets around Greg Olson, and goes in and makes the play. Now, late in the first quarter, next possession, Kyler Murray gets sacked by Brian Burns. The rookie Brian Burns sacks Kyler Murray here on the play, and that's his first of three sacks in this game. What a game you're going to see today by Brian Burns. As this play, he goes unblocked. No one blocks him, and he gets in there and makes the play. Now Panthers' next possession. Cam Newton does a play action to his man, Christian Caffrey, and then throws it to him there on the sidelines. Makes a man miss, and he gets brought down. All right, looking at the next play here, Cam Newton is dropping back there, trying not to make any more mistakes, and he finds his man Curtis Samuel up the middle of the field. Now third down here for Cam Newton, and he's looking back downfield, and he throws the ball up, and it is incomplete, and Panthers would have to kick a field goal to tie it 3-3. He could have completed that, but Cam Newton is not happy with himself after that play. Now first and 10 here. Kyler Murray drops back. He does a little play action. David Johnson, and he's taking off. You know what he's going to do. He's going to run. He's woo, He's brought down. Slippery guy brought down by Eric Reed. But that's another first down Cardinals. Now Cardinals here in a little bit of a pistol. They hand it off to David Johnson. David Johnson's running up the field. There's no one there to stop him. And there looks like there's a penalty on the play. Yep. Personal foul face mask. It's going to cost the Panthers 15 yards here. Now in the red zone for the Panthers, second and goal. Kyler Murray sitting back there in the pistol. He drops back. He's looking downfield. And he is brought down again by Brian Burns. That is his third sack of the game. Not even midway through the second quarter. And Brian Burns has three sacks. The Cardinals would retake the lead here with a field goal. But that sack was massive as to stop them from getting a touchdown on the drive. Once you'll see again, it looks like Bruce Irvin just allowed him to get that sack. All right, second and 21 now here for the Panthers as they run a little bit of an option. They pitch that thing out to Christian McCaffrey. Christian McCaffrey gets up here. He's caught from behind after an amazing play on the option. And it's in first down for the Panthers as they're trying to take this lead back. And now it's second and 10 for Cam Newton. He's sitting in the pocket. He's rolling out to his left. What's he going to do? He's going to run, does what Cam Newton best, and steps up another Panthers field goal as they tie the game 6-6. To six. Now late here in the second quarter, about three and a half, three, 30 seconds left, and the Panthers are trying to get some points up on the floor, and they call a quick timeout. Now second and four here for the Panthers. Kyler Murray sitting in the pocket. He has his man, Larry Fitzgerald, right down the middle of the field, and they're going to kick a long field goal here. Um, can they make this field goal? Looks like it's about 53 yards or so, and it is short, and that's going to take us to halftime. With the Carolina Panthers and the Arizona Cardinals, tied at six not much offense in this game a lot of defense a lot of missed opportunities and uh Kyler Murray is still trying to run the ball but as you see he cannot get the ball moving through there now we're looking here at Cam Newton first possession of the second half Cam Newton sitting back he throws the ball downfield to Curtis Samuel Curtis Samuel makes the catch and Cam Newton is moving the team down the field in his first possession, trying to get some points here. He finds Christian McCaffrey here over the middle, and Christian McCaffrey makes a couple guys miss, and he's brought down at the 38-yard line. Second down and one here. Another play action here for the Panthers as they look down the field, and they have another man. It is Ian Thomas. Now they're at the 13-yard line looking to drive first and 10 here, and uh, Cam Newton fakes the ball to the running back. He's running. He's looking downfield. Doesn't make a play. Promising drive ends in a field goal as Chandler Jones gets the sack there on Cam Newton. Panthers up now 9-6. to six. Now Kyler Murray sitting back here on this second and five, and he's going to run the ball. Holds on to that ball and gets that tackled down at the 45-yard line. He has over 50 yards rushing at this point in the game. 
he's going to continue to go. Here, first and ten now for the for the Cardinals as he finds his man Larry Fitzgerald here on the outside runs a little bit of a corner out right there. Now it's first and ten here again for the Cardinals and uh, Kyler Murray's looking downfield again and finds Christian Kirk. Christian Kirk here on the play. Now they are inside the red zone at the 13 yard line. Now it's second and nine here for the Cardinals. And oh my goodness, another personal foul on the sack. Jerry McCoy gets the sack, but he grabs the face mask as well. And that'll put them inside. And now it's second and goal here. Kyler Murray on the play action finds his tight end. But looks like there's a penalty here and it's a hold and it's going to bring it back. Now third and goal here for the Panthers. Kyler Murray is looking downfield. What is he going to see? He has a man. It is Larry Fitzgerald in for the touchdown. Touchdown for the Arizona Cardinals. Larry Fitzgerald tiptoeing in the back of the end zone and scores the touchdown for the Arizona Cardinals. And as you can see, he barely got in and this play had to be reviewed and was eventually confirmed. And the Cardinals now take the lead 13 to 9 here in the third quarter. Now the Panthers here 34, trying not to go three and out. They're looking across the middle, has a man. It's Curtis Samuel. He makes another clutch play, and he gets it all the way down to the 40, uh, to the 50 yard line. Next play, Cam Newton hands it off to Christian McCaffrey, and Christian McCaffrey runs up the field for about 10 yards here. It is the fourth quarter. And the Panthers are trying not to lose this game. It is 35 here. Cam Newton finds Chris Hogan in the middle of the field. Uh, first down, Panthers. Now first to 10 here for the Panthers as Cam Newton does a little play action to Christian McCaffrey and he finds a man, Curtis Samuel, jumps up there and makes a catch into the traffic of two or three defenders there. What a catch by Curtis Samuel. Now third and goal here for the Panthers as they try not to settle for a field goal and they find their man, Greg Olson, again for another touchdown. Greg Olson is the leader of this team. He's Cam Newton's favorite target and they find him once again in the middle of the field. How do you leave that guy uncovered? I do not know. Now the frustrating thing about this is that unfortunately the Panthers miss the extra point and leave the score 15 to 13 leaving that window open for the Cardinals to take the lead. Now it's 3rd and 12 here for the Cardinals with just over five minutes left in the fourth quarter. Kyler Murray is sitting back. He has no one open so he's gonna run it and he's gonna run it and he's gonna run it a little bit more takes a slide down at the 49 yard line. Panthers are inching closer to field goal position. Now first and 10 here for the Pan the, the Cardinals on the, here on the next play. And they run a little bit of draw, run it inside in the play. And there's a fumble, the ball is loose and it's recovered by the Panthers. And as you see here, once again, the ball is loose and recovered by the Panthers but this play will be reviewed and it looks to me like the ball came out while he was standing up so maybe they uh, are looking at forward progress and, and decided that they wanted to uh, reverse the call and call it not a fumble and say that he was down so I'm thinking that it might have had something to do with forward progress on that play so now they decide to kick this long field goal. How long was well, actually 61 yards here on fourth and five? If they make the field goal, you know, they can take the lead. But of course, it's short after they missed a 53 yarder earlier today. So the Panthers, all they have to do is finish this game by ending this clock. And it looks like that's what they're going to do here by throwing a screen pass to Christian McCaffrey, who gets the first down. That's all that is necessary. And. Looks like this game is over and Christian McCaffrey is loving it. He's feeling it. All right, now back to you, just in case. All right, thanks for the call there. And as you see it, the Arizona Cardinals, we were able to pull that game out late, winning 15 to 13. Uh, it was a great game. It was a tough game. You know, I loaded the quarter, quarter time down, so we didn't get a lot of points up like we normally have been, but we also didn't give up a lot of points. As you see here, look at the total yards in the game. Our defense did a really good job shutting them down. Um, so, yeah, I'm pretty excited about what we did. and hey, we played pretty well out there. I mean, Cam Newton didn't have a great game, but, you know, it's all good. Anyway, let's go ahead and look at the stats and see how it went out. All right, so Cam Newton was 22 of 29. One touchdown, one interception. That's very first interception. Kyler Murray played pretty well as well. 
uh, just couldn't get the ball down the field. Christian McCaffrey had 17 carries, 92 yards, no touchdown. Duke Johnson had only 11 carries, 48 yards. And Kyler Murray got most of the rushing done with eight carries for 91 yards. On the receiving end, Christian McCaffrey led us in receptions with six for 53 yards. Uh, Charles Clay led them in receptions with six for 33 yards. Larry Fitzgerald had four. Nothing really crazy. He did have that touchdown for Larry Fitzgerald in the back of the end zone. But Greg Olson, the man that knows how to get in the end zone, also had his touchdown. All right, looking defensively here, uh, looks like Brian Burns, Russ Cockrell were our leading tacklers. Nothing crazy here. We didn't have a crazy amount of tackles in this game. And interceptions, you have Bruce Irvin. I mean, tackles for loss, sorry. Bruce Irvin with two tackles for loss, Shaq Thompson with one. Uh, Brian Burns with his three sacks and two for Gerald McCourt. All right, thanks for watching the game here. Our next game will be against the Houston Texans. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of tougher, tougher game. Uh, looking to get the W against Deshaun Watson. J.J. Watt, Clowney still on the team. Of course, DeAndre Hopkins, the 99 overall man himself, is there. So we're going to be working on that. Hey, comment below and tell me what we should do as far as free agency. Should we bring back Tree Boston? Should I go after Jeremy McCoy? I don't think I should. But if you think I should, then let me know why you think I should. Um, and Trey Boston. It's, Trey Boston's up in the air. It's 50-50 right now. I'm going both ways on that. Um, as far as the recruiting, we're going to get into that a little bit later. I'll show you once I kind of find some prospects that, that I'm ready to show you. So uh, comment below. Let me know about that. Uh, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video and you just want to press like, then click like. We'll, we'll take that too. All right. Uh, yeah. Well, if you made it this far, you're the real MVP. Thanks for watching. It's just in case. Hey, just in case here, and I hope you liked that video, and if you did, don't forget to click that like. And uh, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, as more videos like this will be coming in the future. Alright, once again, thanks for watching, and like I said, it's just in case.